Now, Congressman, thanks for making some time this Thank afternoon. Uh, is that the is the issue the leaks, or is it a little bit more uh, complex than that? I think it is more complex than that. Look, uh, I had the opportunity to interact with General Flynn a number of times over the years. I have a lot of respect for him. Frankly, he served his country with great distinction, and I'm certainly sorry this happened. But uh, at the end of the day, there are serious questions here. He evidently did either deliberately or accidentally mislead the vice president. Uh, there's a lot of controversy, so I think it's appropriate to look at. I think the appropriate vehicle would be uh, the standing committees, the intelligence committee, and if some Somebody thought something was illegal. The Judiciary Committee would be the appropriate place. But look, uh, people are going to going to explore and investigate this. We might as well have a thorough and professional investigation and give uh, General Flynn an opportunity to, to tell us his side of the story. You you just mentioned there that there were some some other questions about the general uh, that you had. What are those questions? What do you want to know? Well, I don't have any question about his patriotism. Uh, frankly, my, my question would be, uh, you know, were you forthcoming with the vice president and why not? Look, national security advisor, I don't have any problems at all with him talking to other countries. That's their job. And preparing in the transition, that's perfectly appropriate. Even if he was talking under... about the sanctions, you wouldn't have a problem well, with that? Look, I think it depends on how it was phrased or what you say. Uh, you know, we did not have a lot of our diplomats expelled. I think that was a good thing. But look, I think uh, it's appropriate to be talking to people. It's not appropriate to mislead the vice president or senior members in the administration. They have to know what's happening. So for whatever reason, I think just you're honest and forthcoming and uh, uh, explain it straight up. And, uh, you know, look, he's not there now. So that does suggest there was a loss of confidence in the White House and his judgment. This, according to uh, Vice President Mike Pence's press secretary, uh, the White House kept the vice president dark for at least uh, two weeks, at least two weeks about what it knew with regards to General Flynn. Does the sidelining of, of Vice President Pence, does that erode Republican trust in this administration at all? No, I don't think so, because I think there's a difference between sidelining and checking out something. Just because you've been told something doesn't mean you know it's true. You know, intelligence can be inaccurate. And in this case, you're dealing, frankly, with an acting uh, 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 attorney general who was a member of the, the preceding uh, administration. Again, I'm not suggesting that she would do anything untoward, but I am saying you don't know precisely the source. You don't have a high degree of faith in it. So if you're thinking it through and thinking through your options, Options, that's fine. I think the important thing here is, in the end, the president did the right thing. Uh, he came to the conclusion that General Flynn, who he likes and admires, uh, you know, had not handled this situation appropriately. But Congressman, and he uh, got the resignation one way or the other, and that's that's the right thing to do. Congressman, there are a lot of folks. And I don't know if you had the opportunity to hear that joint news conference and that news conference with uh, not. Prime Minister Netanyahu. Uh, but when asked about it at the news conference, President Trump, uh, he, in addition to blaming. I mean, the media. He said this was somehow connected to his his defeat of Hillary Clinton. Um, yeah. The whole thing was it was a bit bizarre. Hearing, well, again, hearing him explain it. To be fair, the only thing I've heard is the clip you played uh, just before I came on, and I wouldn't agree with that clip. Look, something went wrong here. That's why the national security advisor is the ex-national security advisor. So I think that's not the media's fault. The media's reporting on it. Now, did inappropriate leaking uh, take place? May well have. That's not new in Washington, D.C., no matter what administration you belong to. That's just a fact you've got to deal with in this town. So, but again, the president, in the end, may Made the right decision. And I'm sure it was a tough decision when it's uh, somebody that you have faith in, that's your friend, that's been a strong supporter. I don't blame the president Kurt, for taking a couple of weeks to think it through and to double check the facts, but then he acted and did the right thing. Congressman, you've got, you've got General Flynn, who's now out because of uh, ties to Russia. Paul Manafort, the former campaign manager, uh, out uh, amid ties and concerns about those ties to Russia. Are you at all concerned about this administration's connection to Russia?
No, I'm not. Look, uh, not I look bit. at General Mattis. Look, I look at General Mattis and guys like Rex Tillerson. I think we've got excellent people in, in place. I think they'll give the president good advice. Uh, you know, my view is much more uh, tougher, if we shall say, about Vladimir Putin and about Russia. But the previous two administrations came in trying to reset things with Russia, and uh, that's not uncommon. And I don't blame people for trying to do it. I just don't think it's going to happen. Uh, so, uh, again, I, I tend to be a little bit more guarded on this, but you know, I don't think the uh, I do believe the Russians tried to manipulate the election. I don't think they were successful in doing that, and I don't think they're going to have an unreasonable impact. But you pay attention to them because they're a great power and an important country. Republican Tom Cole of Oklahoma. Congressman, thank you.